welcome back to Sugar Mama TV. I am financial planner Canna Campbell. Today's video is a really special one and you may remember a very familiar face. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> this is Anita Van Dyke from A Zero Waste Life and you would may remember Anita when I interviewed her three years ago for her first book Zero Waste Life which became a bestseller. Oh, thank you. <laughs> she has since then written another bestseller book A Zero Waste Life for Families talking or so you tell everyone how you yeah. want to explain how you, what your book's about. So it's called A Zero Waste Family mm. and it's an extension on that zero waste living ethos but with tips and tricks of, for families of any size. So it's focusing on young children, teenagers, but any size families and embracing how to reduce your consumption, live sustainably, but also have fun whilst yeah. doing so. Yeah. Today, on the subject of money and finances, Neva and I are gonna share each of our top five best zero waste hacks that have the biggest impact in helping us save money. So Anita, do you want to share your first yeah. best money saving hack? I'll share mine and I can't wait to see yours as well. <laughs> so the first money saving hack is make your own miracle cleansing oil. Ooh, so this I is a cleansing oil, but I didn't know you could actually make your own. Yeah, so this is a recipe from my first book, A Zero Waste Life, yep. and it saves me hundreds of dollars mm. a year. So I've tried all the major beauty brands. Yep. I'm talking high-end luxury brands that we all are familiar mm -hmm. with, and they cost hundreds of they dollars. Do. So this is something that I make at home, mm -hmm. and the recipe is uh, one-third jojoba oil, mm -hmm. and then fill the other Two, two thirds of the jar with organic sunflower oil. Oh wow. And then you tailor it to your skin type. So you add about 10 drops mm -hmm. of tea tree oil if you have oily skin. Yep. 10 drops of ylang ylang if you have sensitive skin. Oh, wow. And then rosehip oil if you like yep. for you know, um, you know, dry skin. So you just mix it all together and it acts as what I call the miracle cleansing oil because it gets rid of all your makeup. Mm. You can double cleanse if you like, yep. wipe it off with a warm face towel yep. and you're good to go. Where did you get this bottle? Because it's, also it's glass, we need to point out. Yeah, it's glass. So I actually upcycled this bottle from a previous beauty product. Isn't that brilliant? Yeah, yeah that's great. Even just you upuse yeah. your old beauty jar. You probably already have one in, exactly. in your bathroom cabinet. Exactly. Yeah. Anything with a pump and you're good to go. Okay. Yeah. My best, uh, one of my best, I should say, money saving hacks is, and I'm going to create a bit of a mess I'm trying to show this, is. A soda stream. Ooh, I love mine too. <laughs> it is so good. This so video good. is not sponsored by soda stream. So I have the crystal. Yes, same. Uh, and I'm quite passionate about the crystal because it's glass, not plastic. But Tom and I both love fizzy water, and we were, we were I'm so ashamed to admit this. We were buying San Pellegrino, um, and it, I remember one day I went to put the bin, the plastic bottle into my recycling bin, and I was like, oh my gosh, I saw these green bottles. I was like, that is, I was so ashamed. And so I bought one of these. It doesn't use any power. Um, you, it's zero waste in the, even the gas cylinder. I take back to my local supermarket and they give me a fresh one. I worked out one day, I was really embarrassed. We were spending up to $60 a month on bottled wow. water, wow. fizzy water. And wow. this has saved us that so much. That would pay for itself pay in a so couple quickly. of months. Like, yeah. And you can get them secondhand too exactly. for those people who you know yeah. want to invest in that as well. Exactly. So my next uh, budget friendly hack is to get yourself some reusable produce bags and this comes in a handy little pouch and they're lightweight produce bags and you can see that they're well loved and well used yes, I because I've seen a lot of these I love seeing these on your Instagram I know account. because I actually use them and I just wash them and the great thing about them is you can take them to the grocery store they weigh next to nothing so it doesn't add extra money to you know your grocery bills mm. because they weigh I think less than a gram mm. each and you can use them to store your fruits and veg and particularly even salads and things like that yeah. and when you're out and about I like to store them uh, for pastries and things like that oh, as well yeah, that's and a great idea. other things so we have an amazing cafe near our house mm. that um, uh, Daily M and I'll go in there and I'll be like I've got a Portuguese tart addiction at the moment and I'll say to them don't give me a serviette, don't put it in a, in a brown paper bag, just put it on my hand, exactly. I'm going I'm to eat it in a couple of minutes, so just don't, don't do anything, and I, and I can say put it in one of those, yeah. and, yeah, and again, it, that we can reduce our consumption on, so, on 
so many different parts of my life. Absolutely. And this is a great travel hack as well. I take this with me, mm. not only for pastries and food and whatnot, mm. I use them as laundry bags. That's a great idea. Yeah. So when you're out traveling or whatnot, mm. you can put your uh, socks and undies in yeah. it. You can you put what, your clean clothes in mm. it and your dirty clothes in it. And it's, it's there's so many uses for this. Yeah. And it saves you time, money, and also it saves resources in the long run. All right, my next hack is, and this is probably my best money saving hack is, Taking my lunch to work. Oh yes. If you're in the city, it's easy to spend twenty dollars, even twenty five dollars, by the time you get like a coffee, a muffin, a salad, or a sandwich. It it really adds up. Every day there's different things that go in this. I do chopped vegetables. I'll do some hummus, so like a beetroot dip. I'll do yogurt with granola and then fresh fruit. It separates it. It keeps it fresh and cold. And um, I can. This is. <laughs> I this like it's like a hair elastic. I put it around here. It's, it comes with the the bento box, but I can slide in a fork or a spoon to take with me to work. Yeah. I love that, and I'm a huge fan of taking my own lunch as yeah. well. It just saves you money, time, and yeah. also you eat better. So my next tip, which is a budget saving hack and also a, a planet saving hack, is a reusable face oh, mask. Yes, we have those. Yeah. Yeah. So in the time of COVID, yeah. um, we use a lot of disposable face masks, right? We need to keep ourselves healthy, yeah. but also the single use disposable face masks, we should be saving them for our health workers who need those disposable yeah, face masks. Absolutely. For lay people such as you and I, when we're out and about on public transport mm. or going out you know, shopping or whatever, just use a reusable one. Mm. And the great thing is, um, if you buy a reusable one, they're usually about $10, $15. Yeah. Instead of buying packets of 100, which are 10 to $15 per packet, you're actually saving money in the long run as well. And we have to remember the disposable face masks are often littered in oh, the ground. It's so, it just, Heartbreaking. Yeah. It is heartbreaking. It ends up in our oceans. It ends up tangled mm. in our bird life. Mm. It ends up tangled in our nat nature, you know, nature life. All right, my third um, money saving hack. I couldn't bring it in here because it's too heavy. Is my coffee machine. Oh. So I have coffee at home. Yeah. I have a weird coffee with hot cream. It's quite weird, but I save so much money and I don't waste time. I, there's something really sacred for me about having a coffee at home. You know, before my kids get up, sitting there by myself, just being present, enjoying the moment and mentally preparing for the day. Tom was away for the weekend and he said he went and got a coffee from a local cafe at his friend's house. And he said, can I? The coffee cost me $5.50. Like, that is insane. Yeah. Buying a coffee every day, it's amazing how much it, it adds up. And it's also that moment of mindfulness, which is yes. so precious. Yeah. I mean, yeah. how beautiful is that? That is actually priceless. Yeah, ex yeah. exactly. <laughs> um, so my next tip is make your own body scrub okay okay speaking of coffee this is a really good segue <laughs> yes so all the coffee grounds that you have at the end of the day mm. don't throw them away you can use them to make a coffee scrub okay so add in coconut oil mm. and a bit of olive oil, olive oil. Mm. with the coffee grounds mm. and you make a luxurious body scrub yep. that will normally cost 30 40 dollars if you pay for it retail yeah my question is so how do you deal with the mold because I, I did this and I, I had, found I had to consume my coffee scrub quite quickly before the mold kicked in. Okay, so for me, I like to pop it in the fridge. Okay, and that ah, will extend the okay. life of it. Okay, right, there so was, that's very long. Pop okay. it in the fridge and that will extend the life mm. of it. But also make yourself small batches, like you say. Okay. So maybe make half the batch that you would normally make mm. and then store it in the fridge and yep. that will extend the life of it. And the great thing is, even if it's got mold on it, you can compost it. Yeah. So the, 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 thing, the garden loves coffee. The yeah. garden loves coffee. And also you're preventing microplastics from mm. entering our waterways. Yeah. So most of the you know exfoliants and the body scrubs mm. we use contain micro beads, yeah. which is small amounts of plastic which end up in our water, waterways and the fish consume. So mm. then bioaccumulates up the food chain yeah. as well. Yeah. So mm. we are essentially you know, consuming Plastic. Plastic all the time. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So this is a really handy tip. Yep. It's safe for your drains, mm. safe for your body, mm. and it's also great for the environment. Yeah. Yeah. And if ever you worry about your drains, just put some boiling hot water yeah. fresh from the kettle down the drain and it's, it, any issues are gone. Exactly. All right, my next tip is bottled water. Have your own water bottle. It doesn't take long to get a, your own bottle. Carry it around with you, um, and I never need to go and buy one of those one-use, um, you know, plastic bottles. And I save money as well. The bottles are this big. Usually cost three fifty yeah. up to five dollars. Yeah. So you're saving that much money every single time as well. Exactly. And you know, as it gets 
um, colder um, in Sydney, it's literally like just suddenly dropped the temperature here. You know, you can, especially ones like this, you can actually put like hot teas in there and yeah. stuff if you want, you know, and they keep Warm their water, heat, yeah. hot, hot chocolate. Like, hot Ribena is my <laughs> um, And it, yeah, it's just, it just saves me so much money. I love that. I love that. Okay. And my final tip here is something I've actually really come to appreciate. It is a collapsible cup. Oh, I've seen, I've seen So this. I love this. So look at this. You, and you know, I love a dispose, uh, a reusable coffee cup because it replaces disposables. Mm. But the, most of them are quite chunky, right? Yeah. And it, you know, can take space. It's a space in your hand. Yeah, exactly. So this thing is an all-in-one. You can put water in there. You can put your tea in there. You can put your coffee in there. That's great. And because it comes with a lid, and it's I just, light as well. It's light. Mm. I can put snacks in there for oh, the kids, cool. mm. and also your takeaway as well. Yeah. So if you're a cafe, at the cafe having your banana bread and you've got like a little corner banana bread left. Take it home with yep. you and have it as a three o'clock snack. I actually carry this around with me at work. I wear scrubs at work because yep. I'm a doctor. Mm. Pop this in my pocket and there's no excuse for any disposables as well. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, so it's really handy. All right, my fifth tip, and I'm actually gonna combine two, and that is these sofas. Oh, okay. I'm sitting on them now. Yeah, they're, they're right. how comfortable they're are they? are so comfortable. So these sofas are full, uh, sorry, how old am I? They. No, they're 40 years old. Okay. <laughs> These were my parents and um, they were, this is why you need to buy once and buy well. Um, they were, they were upholstered in this like kind of chinois fabric and it, after 40 years it started to get a little bit threadbare. My parents were literally, it was, they're about to go on the truck to be sent to the tip. I'm like, stop everything. <laughs> what are you doing? And they're like, we're getting rid of them. They're 40 years old, Can what are you talking about? I'm like, no, they are the world's most comfortable sofas. I'm taking them. And I got these reupholstered and I supported a small local business, a upholstery business who did a brilliant job. And this sort of stuff would cost, uh, you know, in a store, uh, these are sort of 10 to $20,000 sofas. There's two sofas and an ottoman. And it's because of the particular design, structure, and nature, but the, and the quality of the the quality is amazing. Sponging. This cost me, I think, about fifteen hundred dollars for both sofas and the ottoman to be reupholstered, and the fabric I love was, it. I think, about seven hundred dollars. Up in landfill, and they are so comfortable. They don't make them like they used to. No, they don't, and it looks luxurious. And I love that you just upholstered it in a beautiful linen fabric that suits your home. The other little one I want to throw in there, which is a cheeky six one, um, and that is period pants. Oh yes, like. I mean, I still, yes, would buy pads and tampons, but I buy them at 10% of what I used to buy them. Yeah. And they look like normal underwear and they feel exactly. so comfortable. Tom actually saw me in them, they had lace up. So I was like, oh, nice on you. <laughs> and then I, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, sorry. <laughs> They're still sexy. <laughs> Great tips. Thanks for sharing me and thanks for having me on. Oh, thank you. Um, and yeah, like I like I want to share the book with all your followers. It's a zero waste family. That's the latest one, yeah. and it's, it's full of these it's tips a, and tricks. We're gonna need to thank you so much for coming on. I will link in the video description box below all the products we've just spoken about. And you know, I really encourage everyone who's going through a financial journey where they're trying to be more mindful with their money. They're trying to save. They're trying to invest please consider authenticity and, and purpose, particularly when it comes to our environment, because we only have one and um, we've got to be part of the solution. And the quicker we get onto it, the better. Amen, sister. <laughs> <laughs> all right, everyone, all right. thank you for watching, of course. And I will link, obviously, uh, all the social media accounts as well and all the stores. So thank you for watching and ciao for now.